ready to get started. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, my name is Nick Such. I'm the director of Awesome APU, and we're really excited to have you here for our Web Developer Bootcamp uh, demo day. So thanks for enjoying some refreshments here. Um, we're going to get started with a brief introduction here for myself and the instructional team, and then we'll move on to presentations um, from our bootcamp students, and you'll have a chance to go check out their demo tables around the room. So I want to tell you a little bit about the boot camp. Uh, if you're not super familiar with uh, what these folks have done um, over the past few months of their lives. Uh, so we've got 11 students who will be presenting today. They spent four weeks uh, kind of onboarding into this uh, new world of software development, working remotely in what we call pre-work. From there, they joined us for 12 weeks uh, as basically a, a full-time job. They were here 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and then some. Uh, throughout those 12 weeks, working very, very hard, uh, and that amounts to over 500 hours of training. And I think this Oreo number is actually a little low. I mean, it should be a little higher than that, uh, especially in with the Oreo bites that we had earlier this week. There were a few Oreos in there, too. So uh, we are fueled by coffee and Oreos here. Um, a little bit of what that program looks like over those 16 weeks. Uh, we go through uh, both front-end and back-end web development, so folks are coming out here. Um, with experience as a full stack web developer. Starting off with the basics of HTML and CSS, uh, moving into two programming languages, JavaScript and PHP, uh, as well as a variety of frameworks um, and libraries, and finally deploying their projects um, live using Google Cloud and Firebase. Um, in addition to the projects you'll see today, the capstone projects, um, our students built over 17 applications uh, together throughout their 16 weeks together, ranging from basic things like timers and clocks and, uh, and games like tic-tac-toe, all the way up to um, voting applications and using APIs, uh, pulling in weather data and things like that. So I want to introduce um, our instructional team and uh, give them a chance to say a few words. So uh, Justin, Ian, and Josh, um, would you all come up here for a second, please? Please give, please give them a big round of applause. Hello, welcome to Demo Day, as you can see. Um, we do this every, almost every Friday where each of the applications that the boot campers have built get demoed. So they're kind of used to this now, and that's one of the things that they'll continue to do once they become employed, is something that um, we emphasize in the camp, and that's to be able to fail fast, to be able to fail often, and fail forward. And so we're really excited today because today is demo day. We're not going to fail. We're going to show you some really cool stuff. But we've been failing for the last 16 weeks. So this is a good thing. We're really happy about today to be able to celebrate it. And uh, one thing I want to say <coughs> is uh, how great of an instructor team that we have. I'm just really impressed and uh, thankful we get to serve with you. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. I'm really proud of my students. Uh, while we have had many applications that they've built, the one you're going to see today has only taken a span of one sprint or two weeks, so really 10 days. And if you just count uh, Thanksgiving, six days-ish. So they've had practically six days to work on what you're about to see. So I hope you're impressed. So. Thank you. Uh, we have some gifts from our uh, students and Shout out to any of the other awesome uh, team members in the room who've helped us. Uh, this is actually our first uh, event here in this new space. Uh, so I know Maggie has been working hard. Um, so in addition to the co-working space at 348 East Main Street next door, uh, we have private office space available. Um, so now we've got a few teams. I know the Omni Life team is here. Um, and thanks for letting us block your office for this. Uh, <laughs> um, but pretty excited to be in this new space and having the opportunity to work alongside uh, more and more tech startups each day. Uh, so presentations, uh, we're gonna get started with that in just a second. Uh, these are meant to be a teaser trailer. So you're gonna hear a little bit of each boot camper's story, 
a little bit about that project that uh, they've worked on that Ian mentioned. They're about one sprint into that, which is a very uh, quick turnaround time. Um, and after these quick pitches, you'll have a chance to go around to each of the students' demo tables. Um, we think it's a lot more fun if you get to actually poke at and try out the software they've built. Um, so that's how we're going to spend the majority of the rest of our time. Um, I think we are good to go. Here's our order that we're going to be going in. Um, and if our students are all ready, I will pass the baton. And uh, Taylor, come on up and start us off. So everyone, please welcome Taylor. <laughs> Super, super excited to be with you guys here today. Um, I've lived here in Lexington now for the last roughly four to five years, and uh, I've been a band director at a couple of local area schools. Um, along that span of four years, I've actually had the opportunity to be uh, to the side, a part of uh, the Awesome Inc. community and make friends with with a lot of them as well as some Apex members and that's kind of where and how I'm here today. Um, slowly but surely some people would show me some things with code and I was like, oh gosh, programming, what is this? And, uh, and but doing some like uh, kids, uh, online little like coding games started to get familiar with things and uh, I was like, oh wow, that's kind of cool. Um, one thing led to another. Fast forward to last fall, I uh, entered the uh, Intro to Web course uh, on uh, two nights a week with uh, Gary, and that was great. And then uh, by March, I, uh, I was committed and decided to enter the boot camp, and that's how I'm here today, in which uh, it's been awesome uh, software development. Really gets to marry a few different things I really enjoy doing. So uh, I just want to thank everyone that's been a part of the reason I'm here today. Um, to, uh, to kind of show you the, the things, the knowledge that I've gained, which is ridiculous, the amount of knowledge all of us have gained over the last, the last 16 weeks, I built for you guys an app uh, made for mobile right now called One Set. Uh, I'm a musician. I'm sure there's a lot of musicians out in the crowd right now. I'm sure some of you guys are really good. Uh, but one thing you probably don't do is you probably don't play anywhere, probably besides your house. Um, one set uh, provides a, uh, solves a need and problem of allowing you guys who would love to play somewhere, a place to play. Um, and so you got two users, a musician and a venue, uh, but I would love to show you more right here at this station where I'll be uh, and uh, show you what I've got completed for this iteration and uh, a couple of maybe bugs or, or things that I want to continue to work on. Uh, my name is Taylor Rickin. Thank you. Back down. <laughs> Hi, it's, okay, we'll just do that. Um, my name is Ethan Borkowski. Uh, before the boot camp, I was a full-time student at Transy, just down the road, doing music technology. Uh, but after a couple years, I realized that that wasn't really the path I wanted to take. Didn't think it was setting me on the right career path. Um, so shortly after I left there, I heard about the boot camp and signed up, and here we are, 16 weeks later. Uh, I made Party Picker, and that's for someone who's hosting a social event like this one, uh, but they need music. They don't have time to come up with songs, or they don't know what type of songs to play. Um, so this will make a playlist on their Spotify account so they can keep based on the type of event that they're having. So uh, if you were listening to any of the music, I made that about 10 minutes before we started um, and it was a business formal uh, playlist. So um, that's what it looks like when you get it. But uh, if you wanna hear more, or watch it in action or just hear about the boot camp and my experience, I'll be right there.
guess I used to have really long hair. Uh, my name is Robbie Gay. Uh, before the boot camp, I was work working as a property manager for sales, as well as uh, making electronic music and talking about it on my radio show on WRFL. Um, why I wanted to join the boot camp, I was never intending to be a property manager for the next 30 years. It was just something to fund my music making. Uh, so I was looking for a next step. I really like problem solving, learning new things, and uh, the people that I know that work in tech seem pretty satisfied with their work. Um, so I signed up for the boot camp. Uh, my project is called MPM Squared. It stands for Multiple People Making Music. It is an interactive art exhibit where users, up to seven users, can uh, go to the website and they each get a unique parameter to control that either controls the, uh, the synthesizer or the visualizer. Um, and then here is what the uh, exhibit looks like. So the squares react to the frequency spectrum of the sound the users are creating, and they can also manipulate the shot size and uh, shape of the squares. Um, and I had to onboard two new technologies for this, Tone.js and Points.js. Tone.js is a framework for creating interactive uh, music on web browsers, and Points.js allowed me to analyze the frequency to make the visualizers. What need does this fill? It fills no need, or it has no value. <laughs> that. Um, and if you want to find out more, I will be right over there. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Abram Gornick. Um, before I did this boot camp, I worked at Newton's Attic. There's a little bit of represent representation here, I believe, on there there. Um, the, uh, they teach uh, engineering. They mostly do summer camps and after-school programs, basically for mostly 9 to 12-year-olds, um, teaching STEM and engineering concept through a uh, hands-on approach. So I worked in a wood shop helping children uh, build confidence in um, working with their hands and building things. The, uh, but while I worked there, I made a bunch of friends with a bunch of them with engineering backgrounds and computer science backgrounds. And as I uh, hung out with them, I saw them doing different projects. I was pretty interested. So when I ran into a problem that I knew I could solve with uh, programming, I asked them about it. And they're all also teachers, so they were happy to point me in the right direction. Um, and that's how I got started. Now my final project, um, it's very simple. It's an instrument that you can play via a website. Um, this is the interface, it's fairly simple, you can program in your notes that you want to play, and then the, this physical instrument will drop ball bearings onto a marimba, which is like a xylophone, and we'll play the song that you play with. Uh, if you'd like to know more about it, or me, I'm right over here in this corner, and you can probably hear it, uh, it's pretty noisy, uh, and I uh, uh, hope to talk to you later. adjustment because while I was there I had to turn my brain off and just mindlessly go through motions so first day was kind of a wake-up call <laughs> uh, I came in like I said with no experience unless you count MySpace back in the day uh, so I made uh, back to school which is an app to help parents find school supply lists from grades kindergarten to fourth grade I've heard from parents that I know uh, that their kid always either loses the list or they don't have the right list for the supplies they need so when you make an account you can, it's an easy uh, navigatable register page. So after you register, you can sit to the dashboard, which you can view the grade levels, pick what list you need, and you can save it. And later on, when you're at the store, if you need to ever see it, you can pull it up. Once you buy the item, you can check it off. Uh, if you want to know more about me or the app, how it works, I'll be right back against the wall, free away from all the clutter. <laughs> so I uh, hope to see you then. Hey guys, my name is David Joyce, and before boot camp, I was a parts department manager at an RV dealership. Uh, after being in the same industry for right at 20 years, 
uh, just kind of decided that I owed it to myself to do something that I really enjoyed, uh, which is what led me to path to get into boot camp and get into being a web developer. Uh, so my app is called Axe Manager. Uh, it's a guitar inventory and maintenance tracker. I actually came up with the idea when I attended last boot camp's demo day. Um, so I'm a musician also, and I own multiple guitars, and I realized how difficult it was to track maintenance tasks uh, and know what had been completed on what guitar and when. Uh, so my app will help you keep track of all that and, and give you reminders. <coughs> uh, for this sprint, I was able to complete the inventory portion of the site. Uh, next sprint, I will complete the task portion. My future plans for this app are to finish the complete functionality of the task management portion and allow users to upload images of their own guitars. Um, so again, my name is David Joyce. My app is Axe Manager, and I'd be happy to answer any questions. Thank you. What 16 weeks does to you? I look like I'm 18, don't I, over there? <laughs> now I'm just 22, it's okay, it's okay. I'm legal, I can drink something, it's okay. <laughs> uh, my name is Michael Loisel, and before boot camp, I was actually an additional student. I, worked, I was a part-time junior engineering student at University of Kentucky, um, and a full-time grill master and chef at the, uh, at the Boone Center, right here on Rose Street. But what got me here is actually, I was at a startup weekend last year, almost, exactly a year ago, and Nick had this small booklet talking about Awesome Inc. U. And I thought, why am I spending so much money? Why am I waiting so much time to get into something I love when I can do that right now? And that's why I'm here, to share that story with you. But enough about my story. Enough about how these 16 weeks has kind of made me a little crazy, kind of made me a little, But all of us have gone through our own motions, and now we're gonna hear, here to show you something. What I'm gonna show you is Dungeon Mastery. Now, I bet not a lot of you know what D Dungeons and Dragons are, but I bet a lot of you know what creating and sharing stories is. That's what I just did, isn't it? So, the biggest problem in playing a board game, any board game, is having to go through the motions of, hey, asking somebody, what's this, what's that? What are your character traits? What is, what is your ability model? What is anything? And having to wait for their response, that stops the narrative, stops that flow, stops the enjoyment of that time together. And all of us have just a little bit of free time each day. So that matters a lot to us, right? So what we do is we streamline that so that you don't have information overload. You have just what you need right at your fingertips. So when you're asking people, when you're playing with others, when you're enjoying the story that you all made together, you can focus on that. Help me create some stories and share my own and maybe your own right over there center stage. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Will McGill. Um, I have a rhyming name, so hopefully any future employers out there will be able to remember it. <laughs> so, thanks mom and dad for the free marketing tool. <laughs> Um, I come from a background in advertising. Um, I started off in cable and eventually moved to the digital side. Uh, during that time, I actually had the opportunity to work with multiple ad tech companies. And so basically the technology um, behind why you get served ads on Facebook. But that, uh, the nuts and bolts of it actually kind of interested me, hence the reason I uh, came to the web development boot camp. Um, so this is the local climbing gym in town um, where I frequent mul multiple days a week. As you can see, it's very, very busy. Um, there's probably upwards of 75 routes on the wall. Now, how they manage this currently is with this. It's a whiteboard, <laughs> and this is in the middle of the gym, not free from four-year-old's hands, just completely getting rid of the, the data. Whiteboards are not a good way to store information. So, I created this. Um, it's called Sloper, not Slopper, Sam. <laughs> um, indoor climbing route management. Um, and so, as you can see, all the data's there. This is a kind of a 3D rendering of what the uh, actual gym looks like. Each of uh, those dots are individual routes. Um, and then as a uh, user, you can actually comment on those routes and give real-time feedback to the gym owners. Um, so once again, my name is Will McGill. I will be over there, away from Abram's very, very loud <laughs> Good 
afternoon. My name is Todd uh, Triva. Uh, <laughs> something. Triva Sano. And uh, prior to the boot camp, I was an outdoor guide for about the last decade, uh, working mainly with military populations uh, overseas. And then the last, hi, there's my daughter. Uh, uh, for the last three years, uh, out for a nonprofit in Versailles called Life Adventure Center. Um, I have a daughter and actually now a couple more as well and I was looking for opportunities that were a little bit more family friendly and about a year ago I was speaking with my friend Mame, uh, who's also here, um, and talking, talking with her and I had never considered uh, really coding or web development before but after talking to her it, it really got me interested um, and it started to connect that uh, you know, the tech industry is part of every industry, so maybe I would be able to like marry my interests of the outdoors with the tech side and then actually have time for my family, things like that. So that's really what kind of got me interested, and I, I did the intro course in the spring, um, really enjoyed it, and decided to do the fall boot camp. So that's why I'm here today, and um, I made a project uh, called Katakeo, which is uh, from the Greek, let me get my mug off of there. Um, uh, comes from the Greek word uh, for instruction. Uh, so Sunday mornings, I have the pleasure of teaching a bunch of middle schoolers the Bible, uh, and um, they have a, it's a confirmation class, a catechism class, uh, and so they have memorization work uh, that they love to do, uh, and so I wanted to make something that would uh, encourage them and, and make it a little bit more fun. Uh, so I made a little gamified version of it. Uh, so. You are able to sign in, or, or you can just jump in right as a guest and start playing right away. And it pops up with uh, a list of different categories. Uh, and this is all topics that, that, they, uh, that we cover in the class, which they're in for about three years. Um, and so you can select something like the, you know, like, hey, I want to work in the Ten Commandments or the Lord's Prayer. Uh, and it, uh, each time it'll uh, uh, remove different words uh, from their work, and they have to try to put in the correct words and see if they get it right. Uh, if they get it wrong, they get nicely chastised by Martin Luther, very Luther <laughs> uh, And they can try again. So, uh, future iterations, you know, I'd really like to add more fun to that with uh, the score and all that uh, good stuff. Um, but uh, I'd love to talk with you. I'll be in the back corner and uh, let me know. I'm Todd Trevisano. Thanks. <laughs> Sam Wheeling. Um, a little bit about my background. I actually came from the retail side. I was a manager for 13 years. Um, kind of the same thing Todd said, looking for something to um, kind of, you know, slow down the life. Um, retail is pretty fast paced. Um, and thanks to Justin and Ian, I learned how to slow down a little bit. Um, but uh, I was, uh, came to the boot camp. I actually, uh, I played disc golf quite a bit. Um, it's my passion outside of work. Um, and actually, uh, a few of the guys that actually work for Apex um, are actual guys that have gone through the boot camp, talked to me about it. I've got a friend that works for Apex as well. She, you know, talked to me about it too. And I was like, you know, uh, I've always actually wanted to get into this side of technology. I was really more growing up, I was more into actually building the computer um, and playing with it. But um, when I was 20, I was offered a store manager position for Radio Shack. Some of you guys don't know. So, uh, so uh, I, I took that opportunity and I uh, actually enjoyed it, um, but I was given the opportunity now to actually, um, I guess you'd say, reset my career, um, and I decided to build uh, Bang a Chain. So Bang a Chain um, right now is, um, allows the user to actually build a bag. Um, so this solves two problems in the disc golf world. One is, you know, you, uh, you have your disc and uh, you don't really know what you throw, you just know you put it in there, so there's some stats uh, for the bag. Um, so it'll allow a user to log in and actually um, look at what discs are in their bag and then be able to make decisions on you know, what discs they might need. Um, so for this sprint, I was able to do that. The next sprint, it'll actually be able to allow users to actually see what discs they need, um, and that way they can make a buying decision um, and go from there. So as you can see, uh, some pretty neat little screenshots. Um, but if you really want to play with it uh, and just you know come talk to me, um, I'll be in the back, the guy that's actually got the Frisbees with him. Uh, so yeah, if you have any questions again, my name's Sam Willing, and it'd be great to talk to you. Thank you. I guess it's up for me to take this home. Uh, I'm Rachel Yoder. Uh, 
Prior to the boot camp, I worked as a sales agent selling satellite internet. However, while doing that, I discovered that I was typically being used as tech support by both my colleagues and my customers, <laughs> which did kind of push me to go into a more tech-focused career. Um, uh, this app I designed is a database for tracking historical markers. For those of you who don't know what they are, there are little placards around town in different counties and states. We just contain a little bit of tidbits of history about the local area. Uh, in my research, I didn't find any really good, reliable way to view these, so that's where my inspiration for my app came from. Um, as you can see from my screenshots here, uh, you are able to, uh, just by opening up the app, see a map there. Click on any of those points, and it'll show you the marker at that location. And if you are logged in, you can submit your own photo and add it to the database there to be approved by uh, an admin, aka me. <laughs> <laughs> In uh, future sprints, I would like to add some additional features, namely the ability to pull the text off of these uh, markers here and populate it automatically. Because I did learn the hard way that when you're out there trying to take a photo in uh, 30 degree weather, your fingers get a bit cold. <laughs> uh, once again, my name is Rachel Yoder. I'll be over at the middle table over there. If you have any other questions, feel free to come talk to me. Thank you.